Welcome to the next part of my DLC series, how to handle DLCs in Godot. And this part is just about making your life easier because in the previous video you saw me uh, deleting all the DLCs just for a test and I, I, I really don't want when I want to re-export stuff and you have to do this very often, go to project, export and blah, 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 do all this manually. No, no, no. We want to make a one-click solution like this one here. I just click this batch file and then the export is happening automatically. You can find this batch file here in the, um, uh, uh, in the download on the GitHub so you don't have to write it yourself. And this video is just a little uh, overview about this batch file because it's very uh, no, not so not so scary actually um, and just to prove to you here when we go into the DLCs folder it has been empty recently and now it's filled because everything is exported in the background super useful um, uh, and not <laughs> time consuming at all and the batch file is actually quite easy so here you just have the, the, the Godot installation uh, directory then you define some paths where your project is and where you want to export it and then the name of your, your exe file and then here is some DLC stuff. The only thing which is important that these names here, DLC name, they um, uh, are the same like the export settings in Godot. Like when you open this uh, this export thing here, uh, these names, those are the, the same. So that's important because those are uh, referenced here. And these are the actual commands for, um, uh, for exporting. The first one just exports the normal game. Um, yeah, export release Windows and then blah, blah. and the name the next ones only export the data packs and here is the DLC name. This is the variable there in, in the batch files they are referenced with these uh, percent percentage signs. So this is the only important thing. Uh, and apart from that, super easy. You can uh, set it up your yourself after downloading for your needs and then just one click and you just re-export your project, which is very, very useful because you have to export often to test and see how stuff works because, and this will be covered in um, one of the next videos, uh, the editor and the exported version, they react very differently. Yes, so, um, I hope this uh, helps and in the next video we will look at the actual uh, setup for your export because this is just relying on the settings you already did here in project export and uh, yes and the next video will cover how the setup is to be done for separating DLC and main game. So see you in a second.